Hey, hey, so I'm back here at the Aklawaha. Um, I've had somebody uh, tell me how to pronounce that. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Prairie restoration area. We're at a different entrance. And, uh, you know, it's always, uh, feels kind of weird because, you know, we're leaving the, the auto motorcycle <laughs> right there. And uh, we're going to take off in that direction. But you can see this. We're out, uh, I, I guess you would call this like the north entrance maybe to the, uh, to the, to the prairie restoration area. And uh, yeah, a bit of a hike to get back in here on the, on the motorcycle there because uh, there's a dirt road right up here. Uh, you can take a car down it, it's pretty bumpy. Uh, but uh, you know, I would recommend an SUV if you wanted to come back in here and hike this. I'm hoping today to explore. There's a car coming down the road, so I'm wondering. I'm wondering where that road goes. Uh, you know, that's part of when you get 100 miles to the gallon, you can just kind of go out for a beautiful day and uh, and ride some roads and see where they go. Anyway, let's get started. Uh, so, should be a good hike. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Can't wait to see this portion of the trail. Obviously, I've never hiked it before, and uh, let's get going. Well, just to show you where I am real quick so that if you ever uh, are in Central Florida, you could uh, come here. It's uh, 7910 Southeast 137th Avenue Road, Gate uh, 3221. All right. So I thought I'd show you kind of what the trail's looking like here. You know, kind of a road, and uh, but it's really beautiful, you know. Once again, I'm by myself, you know, nobody, uh, nobody out today, but uh, I wasn't sure to go left or right. So let's go right, because I'm pretty sure that going left takes me back to the, uh, the refuge. <laughs> and you know what, we'll try to get a video of that, uh, that the security that they have at the entrance. Uh, and there I was just hiking up in there <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the last video. So anyway, let's uh, just wanted to kind of get you, get you the feel, and if we see anything unique, oh hey, good, here's somebody up here, so that's cool. So I thought I'd. This looks really nice. This is beautiful, and I uh, once again, you know, it's like which way, which way do you go? So it looks like the trail's kind of going this way, and then it goes this way. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll head on this way and uh, just remember <laughs> I got to find my way back <laughs> eventually. So anyway, so this obviously is a horse trail and uh, so we're kind of making a turn. You notice that it's white markers today and not yellow like it was on that other trail. And uh, so I'm coming up to a double diamond here. Now you see we're kind of we're kind of taking on a new look. You know, we've been kind of in an open area and it looks like I'm going to dive back into the forest here. You can see kind of how tough this would be to hike. You know, that's why the, what I say that when the horses come through, they really tear, tear up the sand. But uh, look at this. Wow. So we're kind of heading back into the woods here. This is really, really cool. Different, different look. <laughs> Whoa, as I almost fall. And uh, we'll just keep on going. I don't have bear spray today, so <laughs> let's, let's hope there's no critters that are going to get pissed at me. So I thought I'd give you the look here. Isn't that cool? We're, we're, I feel like I'm really, really deep in the forest. Uh, you know, I, I love that feeling. No, nobody around, just hiking along here. Now, you can tell this is a horse trail. Uh, so, but, uh, you know, I'm following just the white markers and, uh, well, we'll just keep on going, but I wanted you to see what I'm seeing. This is what I love about Florida. So, you know, we were hiking through the woods and then you come out into all of these palm trees, just kind of a different look and, uh, just beautiful, you know, little open area over here and, uh, but I wanted you to see what I'm seeing. It's just really, really cool. So when you're hiking, sometimes it's fun to 
to look at the uh, tracks to see what's been through here. You got deer tracks here. Uh, there are some footprints, so there's been some foot traffic through here. And obviously there's a horseshoe. That's, the horses have been through here. I'm not seeing any anything else. Uh, but it is cool that people have obviously been hiking, and this is this is where we're going now. And uh, boy, I tell you, it's a really, really nice day, really beautiful hike. I like the feeling of being back here in the in the woods. I uh, I don't like hiking horse trails, uh, but I tell you what, if you had a horse, boy, wouldn't this be great to come back and ride through the forest here? Probably get a lot further than I'm going to get on just hiking. So this is pretty cool. The trail's just kind of meandering along. And uh, boy, if you had a tent, <laughs> that would be a great place to camp and really get back in nature. I mean, nobody's uh, back here. Nobody's going to bother you. That would be, uh, in fact, I might do that one day. Just come back here and camp for the night. Uh, boy, you know, when you see something like that, you're like, wow, that's just a, be an awesome primitive camping area. But, uh, you know, if they threw a picnic table in there, that would be just incredible. Uh, so, but you can see there's just not not a lot to it. You know, it's a very nice hike. I enjoy it. Uh, it's not as as flat as the Chernobyl uh, trail, you know, so it, you would want to probably wear a set of hikers if you really want to do it. But, I mean, you come to got tennis shoes on, and it's, it's just fine. And uh, I like it. I, okay. So this is different. Try to get the phone up. Kind of a, uh, I mean, we're miles and miles back here. I guess you could you could ride a horse for hours and hours and hours, and probably on these trails, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be tough finding my way back because there's so many directions that the trail goes, and they're all marked with the with the white markers. So who knows? But uh, pretty cool looking at that. So as the clouds come in, I just wanted to do a 360 here, and I'm going to be quiet and give you the feel of what it's like when you go hiking and you're in the middle of nowhere and you don't know where you are. Isn't that wild? No car noise. No people. A little woodpecker off in the distance. Nothing. All right. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. You wouldn't want to hike that. That's a horse trail completely. But as you go and look this way. Uh, once again, it's a horse trail, but it's not as bad as what it would be hiking through there. The problem is now I'm making lefts and rights and lefts, and so remembering, <laughs> remembering which, which direction I took trying to get back, that's going to be interesting. So I always hate turning back, but you can see it's just turned into a complete horse trail at this point. That one's, it's not unhikeable, it's just, you know, you wouldn't... You need some hikers and the proper equipment to hike through the sand like that. That's just, it's hard on your, hard on you to hike through it. So we'll get back and maybe take the trail in the other direction. And, uh, and I'll get some video of that. But uh, I do have a long hike back. So it'll be a while before I uh, take another video. So this is that moment when you're hiking and you're thinking, okay, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I, I came down this road over here. I know I didn't take this one here, but I'm wondering if this will take me back. So I'm going to go to give it a try, go a little ways down here, just because I don't want to, I'm trying not to hike back the same way I came in, you know, if I can. I mean, I don't know, but if this gets kind of crazy, then uh, 
I, I don't know. We'll find out. So the trails were kind of moving side by side, but if you look, this trail, the one that came down, I'm pretty sure that's the one that came down, is moving back into this direction, and this one's going to take a right. Uh, we've got plenty of daylight left. I'll just go a little ways up this way, and then I'll probably have to turn around and come back and get on the trail that I think <laughs> that, I, that I came in on. So let's let's keep going. So I did have to go back and get back on the trail that I think I hiked out on, but wouldn't it be cool to come back in here and hike something like that? Looks like a trail, but yeah, someday when I come back, you know, come this way and then just go right down into here, you know, and uh, they got that little thing hanging there. So I assume it's probably some type of trail, but I don't see any markers on the trees. I'm going to go just a little ways back in here just to see what we see. So you can see it does continue on. So it is some type of trail. And uh, boy, that'd be that'd probably be a fun hike. You know, I doubt many people, or even horses, go down this trail. I don't see any horse prints, but uh, you can see it's going on back that way. But anyway, let's turn around and get back to the car or the motorcycle, sorry. So I'll bet that was the trail I was coming up right here. I mean, I'll have to come back someday and hike it. This is this is where we we went in, and I'm about 99% certain that this is heading back towards the uh, parking area. So, and of course, we didn't didn't take the left hand. So it'd be interesting to come back here and, and and go some different directions. But anyway, let's just continue on getting back. So it's always good getting back. Got about an hour of daylight left, so I want to see. Where that I'm gonna just go for a ride on the on the auto motorcycle and see where that dirt road goes. And since I got the uh, the grip handle and I don't have to put the phone under the seat, maybe we'll get some video down that road if I see anything. Uh, if nothing else, I'll figure out <laughs> where it goes. So that ought to be cool. And uh, just kind of show you the parking lot. Isn't this cool? I mean, if you get back here and you just you know you're way the hell out of nowhere. When then this is what the parking lot looks like, and what a beautiful sight! There's the uh, auto motorcycle and my coat. I couldn't fit that coat underneath the seat, so I just had to leave it there. And I thought, well, hell, there was only two cars here when I came in, so I thought it'd be pretty safe. I just put it way over here, as close to the fence as I could get. You know, you can see it's it's just in here by itself. So I, I'm glad to see the coat's still there. Uh, but better yet, the motor, <laughs> the motorcycle's still there. All right, so let's get on that dirt road. I'm, I'm looking forward to a bike ride. I got some water and some snacks down in here. I'm gonna have a little picnic. As I'm finishing chewing my um, protein bar, I thought I'd get this. Okay, I'm in the middle of nowhere, and then come over here. And you just happen to. Look over this fence, there's another mask right there. If we look up here, another mask right there. You know, I know, you know, a lot of people say they're environmentally conscious, but there's billions of these now floating in the ocean, killing uh, everything. So, I mean, if you're really an environmentalist, we've got to come up with a solution for garbage that doesn't kill the world. So if you've ever been to northern Michigan, that's exactly what this reminds me of. I mean, you got a sign here. It says Southeast 137th Avenue Road, and that's supposed to be a road. I'm not gonna follow it, because we're going this way. I've been riding for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, just heading down this dirt road. Not a single car, not a single person. So pretty cool, huh? I just I love the feeling of being back here and uh, you know you couldn't take a street bike down this road I don't think I mean and I wouldn't want to bring a car back here just you know all of that vibration would just beat you up but on the auto motorcycle here getting 100 miles to the gallon it, it's pretty smooth so I'm riding along and I just happen to see this I don't know what the ribbons in the trees are supposed to mean but this would be cool 
come back here and just hike this trail. This got a little post here. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It doesn't look like a horse trail. I mean, if you look, see, we've got the, the bike here. I mean, it just goes up the road that way, and the road goes down that way. Let's just hike just a second back in here. Boy, this would be, this would be a fun hike right here. And I don't see, well, other than that post, I wonder if this was that trail that, remember when I was going to go off to the left, you know, and I said, someday I'd like to come back and hike this. This could be that road. Uh, I want to see what this white thing is back here real quick. So the trail just keeps going that way. <laughs> Maybe somebody was doing some target practice and they strapped a, a Bud Light box with duct tape to a tree. I have no idea. I'm looking, it does look like there's a bullet hole. Yeah, a couple bullet holes. You got one here, here. Maybe they were just using that to, to hang their target off of. Okay, well. Anyway, cool. Uh, this would be a cool hike someday. Come back here and do this. Get you back to the bike. You know, once again, see, no, no cars, no body. I haven't seen a single person on that road. I'm, I'm real curious what the ribbons on these trees are supposed to mean. But uh, isn't, that, isn't that cool? Yeah, that's why I, I, I call these days adventure days, you know. You just go out and just try to find stuff and then hike it. Anyway. So I guess I could cut the GPS on and see where I'm at. But the road finally came out. That's, boy, that's a long ride through the forest. Good to know that we still have places like this. I think a dog's going to attack me, but I'm, I'm out here in the country. There he is. Look at him. So, isn't this cool? All right, let's continue on. So I just picked a random direction and got myself way out here. <laughs> this will be the last video of the day. I know you're happy about that. And I, I'm going to go ahead, now that i got this right here, see, I can say directions home, and it'll show me where to go. So that's, the, uh, that's why I put this claw on the on the outer motorcycle here Whew. getting cold it's gonna get dark so gotta head on back goodbye